Successful social media lives at the intersection of art and science. While creativity can get eyes on your social, long-term success requires data-driven insights and decisions. These helpful data points are called metrics, and they can help you keep track of the success of your campaigns, develop strong strategies, and demonstrate your team's effort to hire management. In this video, we'll explore the 10 social media metrics you should know. First, if you want to know how specific content is being received by your followers, you'll want to find out your engagement rate. Engagement is the interactions you get on your posts, everything from likes, shares, and comments. Calculate this by taking the total engagement on a post and dividing it by your followers. A high engagement rate shows that a piece of content is performing well with your audience, while a low engagement rate might be a call to revise your content strategy. Engagements are not valued the same across platforms. Instagram's algorithm prefers saves and shares, while Facebook favors comments. Keep this in mind when tracking this metric. Use a tool like Hootsuite Analytics to help you keep track of your engagement across all of your platforms. Next, Amplification Rate calculates the number of shares your content gets compared against the number of followers you have. Calculate this by dividing the number of posts shared against your number of followers. Like engagement rate, a high amplification rate probably means you're doing something right with your content. Impressions are the number of times someone saw your content, whether they engaged with it or not. Note that one person could have multiple impressions for a single post. For example, if someone sees your post in their feed, then later sees it again because one of their friends likes or comments on it, that would count as two impressions. If you have a high amount of impressions on specific content, try and find out why so you can recreate it in your future content. While impressions show how many times one person sees your post, reach is the total number of unique people who see your post. Each user counts as one reach. For example, if a social media user sees your post five times throughout the day, it would be considered five impressions and one reach. Take note of who your content is reaching. If you're reaching people who don't follow you, then that means your followers are sharing your content, a great outcome. Next, we're going to talk about some metrics that will help you track your social marketing campaign's return on investment. First up, click-through rate measures how often people click a link in your post. This metric will give you a good idea if your content is interesting enough for people to want to find out more. Calculate this by dividing the total number of clicks on a link in a post by the total number of impressions. Similarly, conversion rate measures how often someone clicked a link on your socials, and that led to a subscription, a download, a sale, and anything else that adds value to your brand. Conversion rate is typically tracked by using UTM links in your social posts or profile. Calculate this by dividing the number of conversions you received against the number of clicks you received on your links. Up next, cost per click is a metric used in paid social ads. It's calculated as the ad budget divided by the number of clicks your post receives. Effective campaigns should have a higher number of clicks and a lower cost per click. For example, if you spent $100 and received 1,000 clicks, your CPC would be 10 cents per click. For those running paid ad campaigns, pay attention to cost per mil, or CPM. CPM compares the cost efficiency of different ads. Calculate this by taking the total ad cost divided by your total impressions. CPM shows you how much each ad view costs and where to add or remove the budget to improve results. Next up is audience growth rate. This metric will show you how much your following has increased or decreased over time. Calculate by taking the number of new followers gained and dividing it by your original number of followers. This is a metric you can easily apply to your competition to see how your brand is doing in comparison. Finally, video metrics help us gauge the quality of our content. They'll also help you understand the optimal video lengths to use and where your audience drops off. Most platforms will offer video metrics based on views and view completion rates. Views track how many people have interacted with your video, even if it was only for a couple of seconds while view completion rates metrics will give you an understanding of how many people are watching your videos to completion. If you have a high view rate, but a low video completion rate, you'll wanna reconsider the content you're putting out there for the audience. We covered a lot in this video, but don't be intimidated. You don't have to use every metric. What matters most is choosing metrics that work for your social content and towards your brand success. 
The more you track, the more you know, and the better you can strategize your campaigns.